Hey, Robert, I'm here to interview you for the science fair because I hear you won't be able to be around for the regional one. Um, so can you tell us your name my and the name of your project? My name is Robert Adams and my project is called Koch Snowflakes. Okay, um, I'm looking at this and I would like to know a little bit more about your project. Can you summarize your project for me? Okay, so I start off, so a Koch snowflake is a fractal and so it starts with one triangle and then you continue to add triangles to each side of that triangle with one third of the side length and you can you do that forever <coughs> and that's sort of the idea and so my last project was um, sort of about how the number of sides for the starting polygon affects the area and the perimeter uh -huh. eventually where do you get this idea from? So, um, basically last year, it, it's a continuation of last year's project, and so last year I decided, or my dad sort of mentioned it to me, and like it sounded interesting, because I like math a lot, and he's a math professor at UGA. Okay. Um... So, what the skills did you acquire doing this project? Um, so, I guess it uses like a math and sums of infinite geometric series. It's, and, um, there's also a lot of unknown stuff that I don't really under or get why it happened this way. But so, there's this series that I don't really know what it has to do with the fractal, but apparently if you take that series and divide each term by a consecutive power of 9, then it will sum to the area of the fractal. Okay. Um, so did you get any help for this project? What kind of help did you get? Um, you just mentioned your dad is a math Professor, did you get any help from him? Yeah, some. I mean, not too much, but he sometimes helped me understand a few things or something like that. Can you tell me what the things that you have here? Can you point out something that you couldn't do it on your own and he helped you through? Yes, that's not really anything. You cannot pinpoint something like this or that? I did most of it on my own. I oh, okay. Guess. So everything. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so I see a couple of graphs here, um, the perimeter and the area. Can you explain those to me, please? Um, so this one is um, the perimeter, and it, it's how it changes based on in the iterations. And so it's kind of like an exponential function and it continues to increase onto infinity with the iterations. And in the area graph it um it starts to um converge at like two point four, which is the limit for the area of the fractal. And yeah, so I was only able to do seven iterations because the series I found only had like 17 terms okay. calculated. So do you mean you could have continued doing that? But Yes. So basically what I did is I calculated the number of <coughs> hexagons for each iteration just using paper and stuff. And so I found a series that I couldn't find any sort of pattern at all to. Mm -hmm. And so there's this online sequ sequence like encyclopedia thing that um, it, you can enter sequences into and it'll give you any information based on that sequence. And so like I found this sequence which it appears to be the exact same 
sequence, but it has like nothing to do with it. Like it was like lateral hexagon. It, I don't know, it's something really confusing that it didn't have anything to do with the fractal, but it appears to have the same. Like it, it's the same sequence, I guess. But if you will continue, you will expect the area to level off for and, and the other one yeah, keep going levels. exponentially. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, anything that surprised you about your project while you were doing it? Um, I guess it sort of <coughs> surprised me that for every other polygon except for hexagons, it was very difficult to calculate the area. Like with pentagons, it overlaps extremely weirdly, and like there's almost no way to calculate the area because it would like take forever, and okay. and it doesn't really have a pattern at all. Um, are you planning to continue with this project next year, and any changes that you will make to this project? Because if I continue it, I try to figure out what this really has to do with a hexagon called snowflake and what what, what has to the, the sequence. Okay. And um, I guess I'd also try to calculate the area for Koch snowflakes made with different starting polygons. But there is a lot of potential for you to expand this project. Yes. Okay. Any applications, um, you know, that you can get out of this project? So I guess the only main application is that it could be used in like computer programming, I guess, like fractals are used in certain games and to create stuff. Okay, any experimental errors that you found in this project? Any? Not really, because it's math. And it's mainly equations and it's going to be precise. It's not about experimenting. It's more of like how we, the equations work out. Anything else that you would like to tell us about your project? It's not that No? Okay. Well, thank you so much, Robert.